Ooh, what's up guys welcome back to another off-road outlaws video today what i was thinking is we might mess around a little bit with this now this is a ram rtx now i know you're like oh this is not one of those normal build videos where he goes to pick it up and i love those videos but i just wanted to do something kind of simple today this however over here Son of a... Oh, and yes, I did do a little bit of recustomizing to my yard. Let me know if you guys like this customization to my yard. Anyway, that's what this is for. This is going to be for the next video we do. So I hope you guys will be there for that one anyway. Let's get to seeing what we can't do with this. So the first thing I want to go into is putting a suspension on it. Now, I, I want to go, I kind of go on the daily driver route with this one, so. I want to go with Solid Axle Pro Heavy Duty. Only because I feel like that's the best suspension choice for a truck like this. Because this truck is a Ram. And I want to run some pretty nice sized tires on it. And I know... So... Solid Axle Pro Heavy Duty in the rear. Alright, now let's go mess with the tuning on this a little bit. Now, what I was thinking is somewhere along the lines of like a basic lift. So what I want to do is I'm going to buy that all up right there. good all right let's start off by putting the travel up all the way like always and I want this to kind of be sort of like just not a hauler because I don't want to haul with a truck like this much so we're gonna have it sort of like that kind of like that and then the axles width will go about we'll go about high point two. And then the shock size. We don't need too big of a shock, so we're just gonna go like a 2.0 on this truck. And now do the same to the front, travel all the way up. Stiffness will come down mildly. Oh, that's perfect. That's actually... That actually looks really good. Alright. Now, if you're building this along with me, make sure you leave a big fat like on the video so I know that you guys also built yourself one of these. And that lift looks actually pretty good. Now, I want to buy those all the way up. And what I would like to do with the wheels radius is I want to go up to about a 1.1 right there. Like, I want to put it up just a bit where it's nice and big, but also fits the height and size of a truck like this. And I think a, a 1.2... Like, low 1.2 might actually work. So now we're definitely going to want to widen those out. I usually go 1.3, but I'm thinking today we'll do like a high 1.4.
so basically we need to go 1.2 on the backs as well like high one like low 1.2 like that All right, so there's that. That looks really good. All right. Now, I think we can move on to customizing this thing. So... I kinda like those. Oh, I didn't do the shocks on the front. Oh crap! All right, we're gonna have to do back. We're gonna have to go back and do that. But we're gonna go with those for this truck today. I don't use like newer wheels like that often, or newer tires like that often. But yeah, it's looking. This RTX is starting to look. Pretty good. Those wheels are perfect. Especially if we put them in a metallic black. They'll go really great with a nice, like, either red or white coat of paint. Like, my god. Those look nice already. We're gonna put a red bead on these. I know I do it with all my tires, with all my wheels, but I mean, come on. So I gotta remember, spoke is metallic black. Bead is matte red. There we go. And now, let's move on to the paint color. Because I have absolutely no idea what color to paint this truck. That black kind of looks nice. You know what? I might go with that orange. You know what? Yeah. We're going to go with that orange. And let's let's go into our Go into our horns now. Sounds good. Alright. Now for our axles color. Now I kind of want to match these up to the truck just a little bit. So. Oh yeah. That looks good. That looks really good. This truck is starting to turn out to look really nice. Now this is a truck. That they do say is going to be getting banned and I'm not sure if that's true. But anyway, front shock size needs to be at 2.0. Not too big, not too small. All right, there we go. Now let's go uh, put some upgrades on this thing, and then we'll take it out for a quick test. And that'll probably about do it for this video. Anyway, we're going to put the power up just a little bit. We don't need too much power in this thing, just enough to get good speed on the roads. Because this is basic, like I said, basic daily driver. Nothing too much. But then, we are going to keep it gas. We are not going to diesel swap it. But yeah, it looks pretty dang good so far. 
All right, so yeah. Now that we got that all done up, let's take it out for a small test run. Now we're just gonna take it out to the woodlands for a basic test drive, and that's about what we'll do. Because it's basically one of those basic daily dry MRI off-roaders. Not too powerful, you know, not too, uh... It's look, it looks really good. Oh yeah, see, it, it definitely has one of those. It definitely has that quality of like a off-road truck with like See how it does here. It is not doing bad. It actually does not do bad in standard off roading. Go through the river just one last time. It's weird that I expect water physics and then I don't get water physics. That's weird. But yeah. Just take it up this mountain a little ways. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure you leave a big fat like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and become part of the Notification Squad. This has been Devin Farm for DJB Customs, and I will see you in the next episode.